Norman writes a poem. Norman was walking over to the water cooler at work when he saw Lisa hunched over at her desk, scribbling frantically and crossing our lines. What's that? Norman asked. Lisa turned around. Oh, I've been trying to write poetry lately. A friend of mine showed it to me. Norman never really read or wrote poetry very much. He preferred to eat dinner and watch CSI. My friend said that the best part about it is that poetry could be anything you want. Lisa continued. She says to try not to think about it too much and just put my thoughts on the page. So far it's been pretty therapeutic. Norman nodded and wished her well before continuing on with his work. Later that night, Norman was sent home early due to the pandemic closing the office before its scheduled hours. He still had several hours before he would watch CSI. In his boredom, Norman took out a piece of paper and pen. I know, he thought, Lisa said poetry could be anything you want. So I'll write about my day. He began thinking, first, I came into work. Then, I talked to Lisa and she told me about poetry which is what I am trying to write now. And then I pet Norman and soon I will watch CSI. Norman thought that didn't look like a lot, so he decided to write about yesterday as well. First, I came into work then, when work was done, I went home then, I decided to pet Norman and eat some dinner and watch CSI. Norman stared at the paper. It still seemed to be so short. Then he remembered what Lisa said, try not to think about it too much. So he closed his eyes and began to write. Perhaps the silvery lining of the lampposts beside me is the stars, and John Coltrane is in them with his music that I will never be able to play. Because I'll be painting the silver and digging the concrete roots in the end. My heart has collapsed into my mind, which is a tender blue note, among a sea of nothing. Norman opened his eyes and stepped back, surprised at what he had written. But the meows of Norman made him realize that it was almost dinner time. Oops. Sorry Norman, almost forgot, said Norman, throwing the paper away. He microwaved dinner, put Norman on his lap, and decided to watch CSI.